What's happening, fam? L.A. All movement still moving. Uh, book and title: Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Um, the Black Projection Game. Um, when it comes to to to, to us men and women, I see a lot of projection. You know. Us brothers, we don't want to deal with no no slut, but at the same time, we're projecting that sluts are the worst thing on the planet when a lot of what we talk about sometimes is why we can't be sluts. Like, you know, I just want more women. I just want to, it's not like we're talking about, I want to just settle down one No, you know, these girls out here giving up to everybody, you know, but, but on the flip side, we're like, you know, why they, you know, at the same time, if I just had me like, a thousand chicks on speed dial. Oh, that would be the life. I would be giving it to all of them. Bang, 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 bang. So we projecting out these women as sluts. At, at, we're actively saying that we're trying to be sluts. <laughs> Which is probably not a good idea, you know. Well, so a lot of times when the females are like, you know, um... You can't tell me what to do when you're trying to do the same thing. Don't get mad because you can't do it as good as me. Now, understand there is a different dynamic between men and women because a woman who has multiple partners, she takes on those energies and it winds up actually messing her up, you know, because she just, she can't process all that masculine energy, you know, when it's so different. So, yeah, that's, that's something else, though, you know. On the f- female side, you know, you black men, uh, you know, we are down for you black men. We are always here for you. And no, that's not true. That's a projection because we're, we're, in practical application, black men are always there for black women, but black women are always looking for validation for from non-black people in general. That's that's why it's black women in the feminist movement. That's why it's black women, women chasing around the LGBT community. That's why there's black women chasing around the idea of swirling. That's why there's black women, you know, um, trying to conform to to white beauty standards. Black men ain't doing all of that stuff, you know, um, to the point where if you look on television, because y'all for some odd reason y'all let television and propaganda run y'all mentally, and y'all be you black men ain't loyal to the race, but at this ain't loyal to black women, and then. You're looking around, and on every TV and movie depiction is black women being overly aggressive to heterosexual black men, being cool with um, homosexual black men, and being submissive and dainty to non-black men. So who's getting? So, so what y'all projecting don't even make sense because, you know, does art is does art imitate life or does life imitate art? Because you're not going to see that other, um, it the other way around. The um, other thing about projection, it's, how can I say this? We project, you know, we project that, that, you know, Black men are the most violent. That's the projection of every. We're the boogeyman. Black men, we're John Wick. <laughs> you know? But the irony of that is, and everybody buys into it. <laughs> but here's the thing Black men aren't the root cause of anything degenerate in America. It's, it's either, it's all other races of men, actually. It's whether it's white, whether it's Hispanic, whether it's uh, Asian, whether it's um, uh, Middle Eastern, Arab, or, or, you know, when it comes to, to who, who, are, who are warmongers, it ain't black men. When it comes to who's the most manipulative, it ain't black men. When it comes to who, who's manufacturing and providing drugs for people to um, 
to destroy themselves. It ain't black men. When it comes to who's distributing the alcohols, it ain't black men. When it comes to who's putting out the negative imagery out into the world, that, that death and destruction is a good thing. It ain't black men. Um, when it comes to who whose culture teeter totters is accepting of rape or, or damn near pedophilia, it ain't black men. When when it comes to whose cultures are are very abusive to women, it ain't black men. But people project it all on us, and everybody goes with it. And then at the same time, when they deal with all of these non-black males, these these these, these non-black men. They accept all of their fuckery because it, because in the projection part they project all their evils on us and everybody rock, rides with that. But when they actually deal with these men, they're like, "Yeah, I knew I, I knew you was gonna be a racist, so I, I was already prepared for that. I knew you beat women, so I was already prepared for that. I I, I knew you was a manipulator and a liar and a sabotager. But I, I already prepared for that when I was with you, and it's all acceptable, you know." And it's like, all right, whatever, man. When it comes to the way that we people project, how can I say this? People project that we're we're un that we're unproductive, but this whole society is based off of either our work ethic or stealing our ideas for a profit or stealing our talent for a profit. So it's funny that we as black people are so lazy, but everybody is living off of us. See, foreigners come from another country. You know, this country was built on our labor. This country was built on our, our ideas. And then to turn around and say, oh, we have, we have, you know, multi-billion dollar corporations that are pretty much all founded on black innovation and everybody just looks around like well well i mean that don't mean nothing okay well why don't these people like even with the with the you know the crazy thing about that is even with the jack daniels thing you know all of a sudden it just came out that oh jack daniels he just took the credit for that. It was a it was a nearest green. The black dude actually made the whiskey and actually created it. But the white family this whole time has been taking credit for it, and it, you know, and it was like, oh, well, where's the okay? So they owe that man money, right? Because they they know the context of how society was back then, right? And well, the true story is it ain't really Jack Daniels' it's nearest greens whiskey. But we're not going. We're just going to skip that fact. Now that now that it's all stolen, and now that people have been profiting for the last hundred years, you know that goes with everything else. You know, Kentucky Fried Chicken has become a corporation. General Electric Electric is a corporation. You know, every um, light bulb and energy manufacturing company and electric company come. You know, had to come through the idea of Lewis Latimer, not Thomas Edison. Uh, you know, the video game industry, you know, cell phones, actually the internet, but you know, but whenever, but the projection that we do nothing, but everybody else takes credit for our work. Same thing with the whole music industry, you know. I hate to break the news to you, what who you think created hockey? <laughs> but you know, it's just it's just a little too many facts. Matter of fact. Lacoste, the, the clothes, the clothes, you know, the alligator might want to look into that. You know, that's why there's not a lot of black businesses. No, they're, they're, you're right. There are not a lot of black businesses because there are a lot of people who, who comfortably can steal from black people and everybody's cool with that. And then they say, make something else. How about you make something else so I can get rich off you and act like you never did nothing? It's the projection. Uh,. Another thing that people like to project is their insecurities, you know, because when people say, oh, these people are lazy, that's because you lazy. 
these people are ugly. That's because you ugly. You know, these people, <laughs> these people don't love their kids. That's because you don't love your kids. You know, and because everybody is accustomed to, if you point the finger at black people, you ignore, you know, you ignore what's going on in your own backyard. Like, you, they, they have people that are point the finger, you know, that guy right there may be a child molester. And people go, oh my God. And the person who pointed out, who, 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 who made that allegation, is probably fucking their kid right by, like right, like if it was a crowd of people and that person, he's a child molester because he's black. And everybody, oh, and that person could just drop their pants and start fucking one of y'all kids. And y'all would, why is that kid behind us screaming? I don't know, but he said, watch that guy because he's a child molester. Watch your kid. Don't put it, don't let any kids run. And then brother be like, look, you might want to look at the dude that's fucking yo, 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 little kid back there. You know, he, he's doing it right now. Uh uh, he said to watch you because you're black. He's a drug dealer. Look at him. Wow, I'm a drug dealer. You, so you just going to look at me and follow me because El Chapo told you I was a drug dealer. You just going to let El Chapo just be right behind you. With, he just he just he's driving off right now with a with an 18 wheeler full of cocaine and but y'all looking at me. Y'all not y'all not feeling this right now. Uh 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 uh. El Chapo is a businessman. Yeah, his business is cocaine and heroin <laughs> and killing and guns. But he said to watch you and I believe him. Same thing. The white people do this. The government does this. You know, Asians do it. You know, you know Hispanics do it. Everybody does it. But it's always this projecting. And nobody, and for some odd reason, everybody falls for the trick. That Too many black people fall for the trick. Everybody else, they're just going along with the bullshit. So, so you can keep your eyes off of them. You know, but too many of us fall for the bullshit is what I'm saying. Peace.